Hi friends, here's another week of interesting AI news that caught my eye. The first news is not really AI related, but it's making a lot of waves in the science world. There were two papers published this week by the same authors claiming that they found superconductors at room temperature and pressure. If you're not familiar with superconductors, a superconductor is a material without any electrical resistance. Previous superconductors all require extreme conditions like below a certain temperature or under a lot of pressure. So this finding is huge if it's true. However, experts are skeptical about this finding. We'll see if this can be replicated. Google DeepMind launched Robotic Transformer 2 that translate vision and language into robotic actions. Stack Overflow launched Overflow AI with AI assisting search, question drafting, pair programming, and more. Similar news from OpenAI. OpenAI has shut down its AI detector due to low accuracy. Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI formed Frontier Model Forum, focusing on ensuring safe and responsible development of Frontier AI models. Sam Altman's new world coin is really weird. People will receive a world ID after a biometric scan, and this world ID will let you prove that you are a real and unique person online. Think about governance, how we're going to differentiate between what is done by people and what is generated by machines. How can you prove that you're a unique human being? That's, that's just the only task. Is this even legal? Some European data protection authorities are currently investigating it. And finally, two interesting papers. This paper, Real-Time Adaptation for Semantic Segmentation, proposed a new Hamlet framework to handle domain changes like heavy rain in semantic segmentations. In this paper, self-consuming generative models go mad Researchers repeatedly train AI models on AI-generated data. The resulting future generative models are doomed to have poor quality. They call this condition model autophagy disorder. The ICML conference is happening this week and featuring a lot of exciting papers and research. Let me know if you see anything interesting there. That's it for the week. See you next time. Bye.